Allegations going around on Facebook, um, and a lot of his name being called. There is a lot of his name being. Called, sorry, a lot of his name is being called up on Facebook. Uh, I'm not sure why. From Jessica and myself, and also Claire Grimes. Um, now, I, I, I've obviously I've seen a notice that um, I've been invited to call into the show, and I'm returning your call. Yeah. So um, I, I understand you have some questions for me. posted it publicly, my, my telephone number for yourself and Jessica, um, and then I received, yeah, then I did receive, It's on Joe Public's post. If you'd like to go there, it will be there. No, you did contact me. I didn't say that. I was just answering the first question. Okay, can I, can I answer the... Yeah, if you, if you can do it one by one, and then I can answer them one by one. She sent a video, um, a voice thing, but I wasn't sure how to send you one back. Um, and I sent you two messages, one with them with my telephone number in, because I'd already posted it publicly beforehand. Um, uh, it's on Joe Public's post when we were commenting. You did call me, yes. Because I really, I, I, I'm just waiting for the questions and then I can answer them and, and then I can come off because I don't really, I can't speak on behalf of Joe Public, I can only speak on behalf of myself. Okay, well, you're involved in the question, if you'd allow me to finish without interrupting. Sorry, it, it, I, I'm just waiting for the question, I do apologise if I'm interrupting so much, but um, yeah, if we can go ahead. Would you like me to ask the question or do you, I mean, I'm just not speaking, you interrupt me, maybe you betray, I mean, Thank you. 
Called social psychology of what Julian uses is using you to um, it, sorry if I can can I finish it, it's using you um, to come in sorry, no, it's my personal opinion it's what happened because I have sent you with a screenshot on the 15th of August of Ju Julian sorry can I, sp can I am I allowed to answer well then, you're not that you're then not you're stopping my freedom of speech, which is my human right to do so, and which you what you preach people have. You, have, it is, you can't tell me that's not my human rights. I have human rights, whether or not you say so. There, I, I have inalienable God-given rights. I have freedom of speech. It, no, I have proof to back it up, and I sent that to you as well. So I'd like to explain my, my can I explain my answer? Okay. I would have, yes, yeah, I would appreciate if I can explain it and then we can we can communicate better. Okay, thank you. Okay. Um well basically when I came to Leeds I didn't know you very well. All I'd known is you being the woman called Claire that Julian kept bringing in and asking me, um, saying to me, Claire wants to speak to you. Claire says hello. Um, I was up in the field walking my dog with Julian at the time and he's, he, you was on the phone to him at the time and I spoke to you, this is around, I say, Feb uh, September, early on, no, maybe July, early on, and then that's when Julian asked me, why didn't I add you, I then tried to add you, but there was some conflict that didn't add you, but for some reason he kept trying to ask me to add people that are popular on Facebook, but for me, I don't really kind of, I, I don't follow that, I have a quite small following. Um, so, or, or people that I follow, sorry. Um, so on that side of it, um, yeah, the more he kept going on about you, that's how I knew about you. I wasn't sure who you were because of actually my sister's concerns about you and uh, the fact that I've been up to it, sorry, 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 please, the fact that I have been defending you, sorry, sorry, I'm speaking, the fact that I have been defending you for the past three months or so and just saying that I actually believe, saying that I actually believe is something that is being said is untrue. When I saw you in Leeds, I didn't know who you were. When you, I saw you in Leeds, sorry, can I speak? Or are you going to control this and speak over me? No, I'm not. Because you're actually doing, you're not, you're not actually being fair, Claire. You've asked me a, uh, a question. Please allow me to respond. Can you, you can hear? Why were you not doing that? Okay, well, I'm getting to that point. If you will allow me to, you've asked me to call in. Yeah, you've asked me to call in. Okay. Because I'm not giving you a victim story because I'm not. Look, Claire, I'm not going to hang up. But as much as what well, that's what you're trying to push for now, I'm going to answer the question. So then you can stop the lies that you're putting on Facebook about me or whichever you are putting out to other people. Now you've asked me a question. I'd like to answer it. Is that possible, or is that not going to be possible tonight? Okay. Right. Okay. Okay. Well, I'll get to the first question first. I'll get to the first question and answer that. Why I didn't tell. Okay. 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 Okay.
why I didn't warn you, somebody who was well known to Julian, under my view, I didn't know who you were, I have social anxiety, I don't like talking to people, I hadn't spoke to anybody at that point when I went outside for a cigarette and I saw you coming back up and you, I said hello, I actually took the opportunity to say hello to you, even though you know who I am, why didn't you take the opportunity to say who I why didn't you take the opportunity to say hello to me, so at that point, Yes, no, I didn't talk to anybody, and what you're trying to um, assume is that I walked in there trying to parade around and tell everybody, no, Julian had got, Julian had brushed past me three times, triggered me, went and walked and said something into Sean's ear, it's recorded, he went and said, it's recorded, he went and said something into Sean's ear, tried to trigger me, I then went to ask him and confronted him, I was shaking, as though to everybody else, they're not understanding in trauma and abuse and triggering off, and that is what Julian done. Now, when I was when I went off out into the crowd, is when I was talking to Borden, who noticed noticed what was going on. I didn't go there to talk to everybody. I did go there to actually pass on some knowledge of what I've been doing and fighting the system so rightly, like you've been saying that the system needs to unite. So Julian is aware of this. He's been trying to stop my cases. Whichever way you look at it, he tried to stop me from speaking that day. When I went to go and when I went to go and walk out. Julian was standing there with Russell, and to me, it felt like the criminal was getting away. So I tried to speak and speak out to Russell as the first point of contact. He told me to calm down. Now, all I've asked is that Real Change maybe get some training from Nigel Amara or the CSA or some people to get some training and not to sit there and undermine people who are trying to speak out because you do not get a, you do not get a second chance to make a first impression. Now, when I tried to speak out, that's when I then left the building and went after Julian and made the recording that I have, the full length, which will be shown. I will make the whole bundle this week. Unfortunately, I haven't been able to do it the way I would like to do it, but at the moment, I'm going to expose everything I have. So for you calling me a liar, that's your opinion. You have not seen anything. Right, okay. Then when I went outside, I then came back in, and then when I came back in, I spoke to Chrissy Morris, and there was a couple of people down at the bottom, and I went to turn around, accidentally I nearly knocked over Chrissy Morris's little boy, and I felt ashamed, horrified, I wanted to get out of the building, because I, to me, nobody was listening. I wasn't trying to talk to everybody, but we were trying to get to the bit where you were saying that I spoke to everybody, when I didn't, I was actually quite, on my own, no, I, I stood for quite a long time, before I outed Julian, I sat, or I stood for quite a long time, for possibly about an hour, two hours. What is my actual claim against Julian? I'm asking you, I'm burning up your show, you've accused me of lying, and I will uh, confront Julian when he's prepared to do so, instead of trying to twist it as though it's something about Joe Public and himself, and trying to create a whole system. Well, I'm a bit concerned as to why you're not sitting there and allowing people to speak when you've asked them to ring your show. You're, you're calling them liars. You've already attacked another CSA victim, which you've decided to attack her because she's decided... It's all over your page, and you screenshotted, you screenshotted the pictures and attacked... Okay. Allegation. Or fact. No, 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 no. The burden of proof is there, and I do have them all. And as I said, I will present them by the end of the week. I have deactivated my account, by the way, not... Yeah. So is that the Katie, Katie, Katie with Julian? What are you talking about, Julian? The control, because that's what he does. The Katie, 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 Katie. Okay. And I'm grateful it's being recorded both ends. Okay, so first question is answered. Why didn't I tell you? Because I have a social anxiety in standing up and speaking. I don't have an ego problem and I don't like to bring attention to myself. So therefore, I didn't bring attention to you because at that time I'd like to have resolved it with Julian. So first answer question. Next answer please. Uh, question please. Next question please. Next question please, Claire.
No, I came with Sean, that's why. So we stayed overnight in Leeds. We came over and we we came over. I, would, I did not come to confront Julian. I came to the Leeds meeting. I'm aware that Julian may be there. Julian was there. And for that reason, I brought somebody along with me because obviously there was an invite to bring a friend along. So was I not allowed to do that? I'm not allowed to attend anywhere? Okay, right, thank you. Well, well, I did bring somebody along with me. And so that's the... Th okay, one, two, third... Well, I've been trying to do that all week and you've shut me down, so I think speaking out for some people is quite hard. And when I saw you, I didn't know you very well, and at the time, with what I've been told in my ear about you, I actually thought, as I said it on Gordon Bowden's post, I thought you was an agent at the time. So if you would like to go back to that and refer back to it, I didn't... I wasn't sure of you. I've now had that clarified. But now, after speaking to you in the last week, I'm not really sure what your mission is. So I'm like, I'm, I'm wanting to get to that point of it all. So when, uh, as soon as I didn't speak to anybody before I spoke to you, and as soon as I didn't speak to anybody until quite a long time into the Leeds meeting, until Julian had triggered me, I think we need to move on from that fact. So that's question number one. Are you satisfied? Because I'm not, I'm not an attention seeker, and I don't like to sit there and bring all attention to myself. And maybe when it's quiet at the end of the meeting, I'd like to do it then. But since Julian had triggered me beforehand, well, since Julian had triggered me beforehand, he brought it on a lot sooner. So, next question: Are you satisfied with that question? And that, that it's been answered. Okay. No, this is not about me at all. This is why I haven't done it on behalf of me because I'm not a victim. I'm strong enough to stand and and push down the controlling tactics of Julian. Well, it's far from what you've been calling me this week, silly little girl, telling me that you're 33 years old, and, and that's how I know your age, by the way. That's why I said I'm 28, because I don't see an age problem in it. I mean, my dad was 69, his, his wife was 35, what's the issue with the age? There's no age, there's no ego. We should all get along, and as I sent you that thing, I would like to get along with you, but you've decided to come and call me a liar, so I'd like to get these clarified. Well, that's your view, Claire. Uh, well, opinions. They're like arseholes. Everybody has them. Okay. I haven't asked your opinion. You've called me a liar. I've asked for your questions, and I'll answer them Gra gracefully. I'll answer your questions gracefully. Okay. Uh, question number one is answered. What was question number two? Are you satisfied with that? No, no, I'm just asking a question. Like, you've asked these questions, you want them clarified, I'm giving you the respect to actually answer them for you and waste my breath, really. Well, because you're trying to stop me from talking. And when I said controlling, this is exactly what I mean. A conversation goes both ways. of other people that gave them opinions. It doesn't matter if you've got a qualification and I think you need to step down a peg or two because when you're fighting for people that are in poverty and don't have those qualifications but have the brains to fight the system such as the people that you're working with I think you need to peg down a few because yes, I do have a few qualifications. No, I didn't pass my exams because my mother passed away but at the same time it does not mean because somebody gave you an opinion of their opinion that you were good that you are good at your job because I'm telling you now I've worked with quite a few I've worked with quite a few and there are quite a few in authority that need kicking out of authority and police and all of those people with those qualifications that do not deserve the right to be in the care that they are of the duty of vulnerable people vulnerable children vulnerable adults and this is exactly my point your friend Julian so let's get back to question number two 
calm my down. I mean, you know I've been saying this all week. You keep saying he's my friend and he's defending. I am just going to play on my own show. I hope you allow me just to speak for a moment. Let me just say that. Um, you know, he's not my friend. No matter, no matter how many times you must repeat that stuff back to yourself. You must literally state it on your own, you know, comments. I'm doing a bundle on you. Sorry, I, I, I'm just, I will put all of them together. You have asked for the evidence. You said you've not defended him. I will put the bundle together. I wouldn't be laughing at. I wouldn't be laughing at abuse because you see the pain that the man causes for people, upon people. to know what Julian's got to hide and why he's outing for a for show. For okay, so why don't you arrange it so that Julian is on your show, I am on your show, and we'll have it out, and then we'll have the truth. No, 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 no. no? Okay, we're not defending that. We're not defending that. because I was just wondering what fact question I asked you. No, I'm listening to your answer. I was just wondering what the question was again. Could you rephrase the question that I asked you, please? Respond before you cut off and control it. Okay. Okay. No, I have a question for you because I've, 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 I, I do have a question for you. What is it that I have lied about? Something happened there, I'm not sure. I didn't mean. I didn't yeah. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Okay, well, I called you back. Hello? It's ended again.
ดีเทมเงี้ยอันนี้ก็เป็นการเรียนรู้ที่ไม่ใช่ของคุณนะคะ